Hoss was born in Baden-Baden into a strict Catholic family. He lived with his mother Lena Nesbeck and his father Franz Xavier Host. And Host was the eldest of three children and he was the only son. He was baptized Rudolf Franz Ferdinand Host on the 11th of December 1901. He was a lonely child with no playmates his own age until he entered elementary school. All of his companionship came from adults. He even claimed that he was briefly abducted by gypsies in his youth. His father, a former army officer who served in German East Africa, ran a tea and coffee business. He brought his son up on strict religious principles and with a military discipline, having decided that he would become a priest and he would enter priesthood. Hoss grew up with a fanatical belief in the central role of duty in a moral life. During his early years, there was a constant emphasis on sin, guilt, and the need to do penance. When World War I broke out, Hoss served briefly in a military hospital and then, at the age of 14, was admitted into his father's and grandfather's before him, Old Regiment, the German Army's 21st Regiment of Dragoons. At the age of 15, he fought in the Ottoman 6th Army at Baghdad and at Kut el Alamar and was in Palestine. While stationed in Turkey, he rose to the rank of Bibid Webel, or the Sergeant, and at the age of 17, he was the youngest non-commissioned officer in history in both armies of the Turkish and the Germans. He was wounded three times and was a victim of malaria. Nonetheless, he was awarded the Gallipoli Star, the Iron Cross first and second class, and other decorations for his military bravery and honor. Hoss was also briefly in command of a cavalry unit before World War I ended. When the news of the armistice reached Damascus, where he was at the time, he and a few others decided not to wait for the British to arrest them as prisoners of war but instead try and ride all the way back home to Baden-Baden. This involved even traversing the enemy territory of Romania, neutral Bulgaria and the occupied Turkish coast, but eventually they made it home to Bavaria. After the armistice of the 11th of November 1918, Hoss completed his secondary education and soon joined the emerging nationalist paramilitary groups, first the East Prussian Volunteer Corps and then the Freikorps Rusbeck in the Baltic Sea, Silesia and the Ruhr. Hoss participated in the armed terror attacks on the Polish people during the Silesian uprising against the Germans and on the French nationals during the occupation of the Ruhr. During this time he joined the Nazi party in, during this time, he joined the Nazi party in 1922. Member number 3240 after hearing Adolf Hitler's speech in Munich. On the 31st of May 1923 in Mecklenburg, Horst and members of the Fly Corps attacked and beat to death local school teacher Walter Kadal on the wishes of the farm supervisor Martin Broman, who would later become Hitler's private secretary. Kadal was believed to have ticked off the French occupation authorities that Horst's fellow Nazi and paramilitary soldier Albert Leo Schlangleckda was carrying out sabotage operations against the French supply lines. Slaglikta was arrested and executed on the 26th of May 1923. Soon after, Hoss and several other accomplices, including Broman, took their revenge on Kadal and beat him to death. In 1923, after one of the killers confessed to the local newspaper, Hoss was arrested and tried as the ringleader of the group, although he was not, although he later claimed that another man was in charge, which might actually be Broman. But Hoss took the fall and accepted the blame for the group's leadership. He was convicted to 10 years in Bradenburg Penitentiary and Broman received a one-year sentence. Hoss was released in July 1928 as part of a general amnesty and joined the Ataman League, a anti-urbanization movement or a Vatteland movement which was basically the Amish or the hippies of the 1920s that promoted a farm-based lifestyle. On the 17th of August 1929, he married Hedwig Helsel, whom he met in Ataman League. And between 1930 and 1943, they had five children, two sons, Klaus and Hans Rudolf, and three daughters, Inden Bridget, Hendit Traut, and Anningret. Inden Bridget was born in a farm in northern Germany, possibly during the Ataman League. And Hindin Tarau, who is Hoss's oldest daughter, was born in 1932. And Anning was born in Auschwitz in November 1943. Being the youngest member of the family, 
it was during this time and during this time frame that he initially became acquainted with Heinrich Klimler and the Holocaust, their sons and daughters and the legacy of Hoss are all a story for another day. But I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something because people might get Rudolf Hess but Rudolf Hoss was in the centre of it all and there you go, not Rudolf Hess but far more villainous. Exchange the E for O with an accented O and you get Rudolf Hoss, the man with no mercy, the man of Auschwitz, the Stalin of Germany if you will, Rudolf Hoss. Learn something. Also it's Slaglichter, but I was under pressure so it was Slaglichter. My bad, sorry. Learn something.